Ms. Sawa, good morning. Ah, uh, good morning. Hey, Mizusawa-kun, listen to this. My name is Mizusawa Tsumugi. I don't mean to brag, but I'm always surrounded by people. People around me say that I have a lot of friends and I'm very popular. But... The tall guy from the soccer team in the next class. People have been talking about how he's been getting cocky lately. A, a friend of mine was saying that even though he's not very good, he gives advice like he's some big shot and it's really annoying. Do you know him, Mizusawa-kun? I don't know, sorry. But can we talk about something else? Uh, sorry. Mizusawa-kun is really kind to everyone. By the way... Everyone has a strong sense of group identity and is exclusive. I felt that discomfort strongly as a high school student. It's exhausting to purposely make enemies and try to isolate them. Or make them my enemy. Hey, we need four people for today's group work. What should we do about the last person? Ogino-san, maybe? Eh? Then you talk to her. I'm not good with her for some reason. <sighs> Ogino, would you join my group? Huh? My classmate, Kaede Ogino, looked at me in surprise. Her face seemed a bit red. Maybe it was just my imagination. Ogino, you're the top student in the class, right? Listening to your presentations is educational, and I want to hear your opinion. You also take meticulous notes. I really respect those detailed aspects of you. Oh, um, sure. Then please. Huh? Why would you go out of your way to pick that playing girl? Mrs. Salakun, you're perfect in both academic and sports, and you look great and have a perfect personality, too. I'm so jealous. I wish I could be invited smoothly like Ogino-san. In this way, I was trusted by both students and teachers, and before I knew it, I was categorized as one of the popular kids. Is friendship really this superficial? What is true friendship? Uh, sorry. About the task division. And so, I steadily improved my grades, got into a good university, and was further celebrated at my high school reunions. However, after becoming a working adult, due to work and other reasons, I became distant from everyone from high school. More than anything, I just didn't feel like it. And then, I started working as a new graduate, where I also performed reasonably well. For some reason, I became friends with an unreliable senior. I try to fit in at the company by reading the atmosphere. Reading it, reading it, reading it, reading it. Mizusawa, are you saying you have complaints about my guidance? Don't mess around. What you're doing is fundamentally wrong. I am superior. You should listen to me without question, you greenhorn. It's been about a year and a half since I started working as a new graduate. I opposed a senior who went too far in educating me, and I felt disappointed by the upper management who protected them. I tasted failure for the first time. Tsumugi? Ugh! Ugh! I was sleeping in the passenger seat of the car. Rain hitting the glass and the movement of the wipers came into my field of vision. Uh, uh, I seem to have had a long dream. Sorry for leaving you to drive, Hina. The person in the driver's seat is Hinata Haruna. He's the person I'm closest to now, and we have a relationship like a business partner. You're going to your high school reunion for the first time in a while today, right? Is it because a girl you like is coming? <laughs> There's a high-performance camera used by professionals here. Shall we take a picture? Shall we? Oh, shut up, shut up, shut up! You have work at another venue, don't you? Just leave me alone. Pfft, stingy. Shut up, you 27-year-old child! Yes, today is the reunion to celebrate the anniversary of my high school's founding. It's the first time I'm meeting everyone since I became a working adult. 
I wasn't really enthusiastic about it, but Himokawa invited me, and I heard that she would be participating too, so... Ah! He's here! You're Mizusawa-kun, right? The first people I met at the venue were my classmates, Kawaba Rika and Himokawa Shu, who are now 26. It's unusual for Mizukawa to be late. How have you been? Yeah, well, I've been busy with a lot of things. We were just talking about social media. So Amiz's article is trending and travel is trending. I'm so jealous of people with money, you know? Hey, speaking of SNS, did you hear? That girl who was bragging about her husband on Instagram. I heard she got divorced. I know! She's coming today! I wonder if she's okay! Or is she planning to find a lover today? Mizusawa, be careful! Before they could even enjoy their reunion, the two of them started giggling. I immediately left, uncomfortable. My company is the same as ever! A junior who recently joined is so cheeky and doesn't respect his seniors at all! I have a problematic person among my peers too. We were all talking about how annoying it is. How about you, Mizusawa-kun? I'm... Ah, it's Mizusawa-kun. I missed you so much. How have you been? I heard you got a job at a major company. It's really boring without you, Mizusawa-kun. Hey, where are you living now? My former classmates, hearing of my arrival, rushed over. I flinched from the pressure, but I spoke up. I left a major company, and I'm now working as a freelance writer. So I moved out of my apartment, I'm living in my car. Huh? So... You don't have a home, and you're not even a full-time employee? The atmosphere around me suddenly turns cold when Kawaba says this. I can't help but shiver at the difference in temperature. That's right, but... When I answered in the affirmative, the people surrounding me started to distance themselves. <laughs> what? He's practically unemployed and homeless? What a waste considering he's highly educated. Wait, maybe he's fallen off the elite path, huh? <laughs> I'm not unemployed or anything. I have my own goals. That's just the excuse of a social misfit. Ah, I see. Did Mitsawa have a hard time after joining the workforce? Maybe he was influenced by a famous person on social media. Oh dear. Up until now, I've often seen them laughing at others, but when it's actually directed at me, it hurts. After that, people started to leave me, which was amusing. At most, they would look at me from a distance and smile mockingly. I guess this is how it goes with a superficial relationship. I'll go home after a little while. What should I say to Hina, who saw me off with sparkling eyes? While I was thinking about this, a woman approached me. Mizusawa-kun, are you eating? The food here is delicious. Oh, thank you. Um, you... Do you remember? I'm Ogino Kaide. Huh? O Ogino? Long time no see. Sorry. I didn't recognize you. It's okay. They say everyone has changed. Were you surprised, I wonder? Ye yes you've become so beautiful. I never thought I would actually get to meet her. I'm glad I came here just for that, and I popped my fist in my heart. So, I'm sorry. I heard what you said earlier. It's the rainy season now, and it's been getting heavy rain lately, so it's been tough, right? So, if you don't have anywhere to live, um, would you like to come to my house? <coughs> I'm just a sales clerk and my income is modest, but I'll support you until you get back on your feet, Mizusawa-kun. Isn't that basically a proposal? No, wait, wait, hold on a second. You're misunderstanding a lot of things. I'm a travel writer now traveling all around the country with my best friend, who's a photographer. I rarely go home, so I decided to give up my place, not because of money issues, but because I don't need it anymore. Oh, so... I do have a steady income, 
And when the weather is bad, we stay at hotels to take shelter, so it's fine. With that, Ogino's face turned increasingly red, and her shoulders started to tremble. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I misunderstood and was so rude. I'll commit seppuku to apologize. Don't be hasty. I'm happy that you were worried about me. Really, I truly appre- It took a few more minutes for Agino, who was trying to commit seppuku with a cake server, to calm down. I'm really sorry. I just believed what I heard and misunderstood. It's fine. I know my situation is unusual. But even though I live in the car, it's a wagon-type camper, and it's pretty well equipped. Is that so? By the way, is your best friend a man? Yeah, he was a senior at the company, but now, there's no hierarchy between us. With each conversation, Ogino looked embarrassed by her misunderstandings. That expression was a bit cute. Ogino is the only one who worries about me without changing her attitude. She really is a kind person. Well, there's something I've been wanting to tell you if I could meet you. To me? At the graduation ceremony, I... Sorry, I've got a call coming in. Damn, what bad timing. Who is this? Oh, it was from Hina. Huh? Lost? The best friend you mentioned earlier? Yeah, apparently he had a request in this hotel. He got lost when he was trying to come over after it was over. I also felt uncomfortable at the venue, so I decided to go and pick him up to refresh myself. <laughs> I thought I'd never see you again! That's something a lost child would say. Are you a 27-year-old kid? Hina is extremely shy and has a hard time talking to people even at work. But he doesn't seem nervous behind a lens, and since he also loves photography, he became a photographer. Oh, nice to meet you. I came with you because I wanted to get some fresh air. Uh, um, nice to meet you. Um, you're the person Tsumugi wanted to meet? Ouch! Don't say such silly things! Why not? Uh, I was going to take a commemorative photo of you! The usual atmosphere made me unintentionally smile. Maybe I was really upset at the venue. Hey hey, I thought you were gone, but now you're feeling uncomfortable and going home? Just as things were starting to get friendly, Himokawa and Kawaba came in, laughing mockingly. Ogino-san, you should stop with this guy. There are others who want to talk to you. Let's go back to the venue, okay? Um, I came here today because I wanted to talk to Mizusawa-kun. Please leave me alone. Are you going to give money to a homeless man? A 26-year-old, adventures are tough, you know? <laughs> Then, with a frustrated expression on his face, Hina stepped forward. I... am someone who works with him. Huh? Oh, I see. Himokawa accepted the business card that was handed to him. When he saw the name on it, his mouth fell open in surprise. What? The photographer? Hina-san? You've been a hot topic on social media lately. What? You've even been featured on TV recently. The traveling duo who doesn't show their faces? Yes, that's us, Tsumugi and I. Tsumugi works as a travel writer under the name Mugi Sawamisu. After we left our companies, we made a living by traveling, taking photos and writing articles. Last year, our photos and writings went viral, and now we earn several times what we did when we were working. Hey Hina, you've been hiding it because you didn't want to stand out, right? In a place like this? I don't care. I don't want Smoogie to be insulted by people like this who look down on others and feel superior. Smoogie has now published several books and is being asked to write for print and TV scripts. Uh, I can't believe he's that famous. I never thought he would be that successful. So, you thought there were people you could look down on and look down on them and try to use them as an outlet for your stress? What? You're talking as if we're the bad ones here. It's bad, isn't it? You're all just looking for someone to take your frustrations out on, aren't you? That's why you can be so aggressive towards people who seem to be in a weaker position. Hina says it bluntly, 
It's because we have enough experience to be able to say it so decisively. If you have any complaints, say something. Is that mouth just for show, huh? Uh, I'm sorry. It's my responsibility. We worked at a major advertising agency. The long hours and fierce competition with rival companies created a tense atmosphere. In such a hostile environment, our irritated boss would often take out his frustrations on the shy Hina. Don't mess around. Hina-senpai did nothing wrong. Others must have seen what the superior did. It's not right, everyone? <sighs> However, no one sided with us. Instead, they gave us looks that seemed to say it was our fault. When we consulted the department manager, he simply said, the supervisor is competent, and we would be in trouble if he left, so please endure it. We learned something. To manage a group with many grievances, you need to provide an outlet for their stress. So they create someone it's okay to take frustrations out on, even in high school. Of course, I know not all environments are like this, but by this time, I was already exhausted. Senpai, I'm quitting now. Mizuka-kun, I'm really sorry because of me. I wish I could have just endured this on my own. You're not to be blamed. It's them who are to be blamed. I'll go crazy if I stay in a place like this. Hey, Mitsuka-kun, I've been thinking about this for a while, you know. There's something I would like to try with you. Huh? And then, Hina, my senior at work, and I, retired, spent our savings to buy a car, and impulsively set off on a journey. I understand that feeling. In my workplace, if you don't read the atmosphere and fit in well, you'll end up isolated. Even if you do fit in, sometimes you get turned into the butt of jokes and people take out their frustrations on you. That's why I remember how happy I was when you reached out to me back in high school, Mizusawa-kun. Ogino smiled gently at me. Seeing her expression, I felt reassured that I hadn't been wrong. I actually didn't know what friendship really meant back in high school. Honestly, I felt a sense of discomfort back then. I thought everyone stayed around me just to avoid being left out themselves. Do you need any other reason? Himokawa glared at me with angry eyes. My intuition told me that his look of disgust meant he has always disliked me. What are you saying that's so obvious now? Yeah, we stayed by your side because it was safe. You were popular and trusted. At home, my parents were unknowing, and the club was full of irritating people. But just being your friend made me stand out. That's what you call a survival strategy. Th that's right. We have to do that to protect ourselves. Everyone's making efforts to get along well in groups. Everyone's doing their best. If someone ends up isolated for not reading the room, it's their own fault. I see. In the end, both Himukawa and Kawaba became friends with me to protect themselves and look down on others. To them, friendship with me was just a dependency for self-preservation, and if I couldn't be useful, they would discard me. It finally made sense to me. Don't mess around. Stop messing around. While I had come to a realization on my own, Ogino expressed her anger and stepped forward. In the end, you're just using Mizusawa-kun's good intentions to justify looking down on people. First of all, talking about how hard you're trying or how much you're struggling. To be honest, it's none of our business and we don't care. Tch. I agree. For example, is it okay to hurt someone just because someone has hurt you? Is it really fun to do such calculating things over and over again? It's not that it's fun. It's something that's necessary to get through life well. That's really irrelevant. When I answered dismissively, Kawaba and Himokawa both fell silent. Let's go home. There's no point in staying any longer. Well then. Turning away from the two who looked guilty for not answering, I turned my back on the two and left the venue with Hina and Ogino. Jeez, always acting like the perfect student. Things always go your way. It's easy to say that when everything goes well. You've always been such a hypocrite. You really annoyed me from the bottom of my heart. Himokawa, did you really hate Mizusawa-kun that much? Shut up! To begin with, 
I never thought of those guys in high school as friends. Are those words just now true? Himokawa and the others turned around abruptly, finding their classmates there. They had come to look for Himokawa and the others who hadn't returned. You always acted friendly with us, but in your heart you were mocking us. And Kawaba-san, you were always with Himokawa, looking down on us together, right? No, that's not... However, the stairs surrounding them already treated the two as outsiders. It was a situation from which there was no turning back. After that, feeling out of place, Himokawa and Kaoba ran away and never attended the reunion again. But still, they had no intention of reforming and continued to live their lives as usual. What? Fired? Himokawa was found to have been excessively harassing his juniors, combined with his negligence at work. He was eventually fired. I will resign. Kawaba was treated poorly within the company for forcing a colleague to take a leave of absence, and could not bear it any longer, so she quit the company of her own accord. They used and hurt others to protect themselves, and it ended up hurting them in the end. All the struggles I went through, I wonder if it doesn't matter to others. If you don't believe you're right, you can't keep going, but... If only I had accepted what Mizawa said sincerely. If I had just apologized sincerely, maybe my life would have been a little different. By the way, I heard that the supervisor who used to harass Hina in the past also got fired for similar reasons as Himokawa and the others. Several months later, today is the day Hina decided to depart for overseas as his new base of activities. It's sad. But I don't want to get in the way of Tsumugi and Ogino-san's romance, you know? Ogino and I blushed involuntarily. Since that day, we started meeting each other and eventually began dating. Actually, I've liked Mizusawa-kun since high school, but I didn't have the courage to confess. What? I liked you when I was in high school too. But during the graduation ceremony, you ran away in the middle of our conversation. Huh? At that time, I asked for the second button because I wanted it, but suddenly I got embarrassed, so... Is that so? I actually panicked, thinking I got rejected. But when we talked it over, it turns out we've liked each other since high school. But our timing never quite lined up, so we couldn't even meet at the alumni reunion. And that's how we ended up dragging it out. Tsumugi has been helping me since I started working. I haven't been able to reply him at all. That's not true. Since I went freelance, I've been relying on you, and my current life is thanks to Hina. I... I felt like I finally found a true best friend when I met Hina, so thank you. As I responded bashfully, Hina smiled happily, with his mouth wide open. Ah, it's almost time for the flight. Well then, take care of both of you. See you again someday. Hina waved energetically. His bright expression was something I couldn't have imagined during her time as office workers. It makes me feel a bit lonely. Yeah, but our hearts are connected, so it will be okay, because we are friends. What is true friendship? If I were to answer that question I had in high school, it would be this. True friendship is about sharing the good times and the bad, and helping each other out when we are in trouble. If you can meet people you can trust from the bottom of your heart, your life will become brighter. Hello, hello, it's Brittany. That was a lovely story. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you did, tune in for our next one. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye!